Hello and welcome everybody to another exciting episode and season of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Yeah, we're about to bust out some hammers, break some boxes, open some cards, it's gonna be wild. We it, probably it, won't use hammers, just hands. Just hands. Handers. Nope, I don't say that. <laughs> what a fantastic start to a brand new season. I am so excited, guys. We are completely and utterly sold out. We have a full crowd, which means each episode we are cracking a full booster box from the new Scarlet and Violet collection. I think it is going to be just so much fun. It is not only that, but we have sold out to the point where people signed up and then they left and then new people took their spot. So we have more than 36 people per episode. So we have cracked open an ETB as well. And uh, some people will get to these packs Ooh, instead. Very exciting, very exciting. Doesn't affect the odds at all. We ourselves have already cracked a bunch of boxes here in office. It has been so much fun. There is a lot more shininess in this particular set so lots of uh, lots of sparkly cards if that's yeah. your jam yeah that is, that's so. my jam without any further ado let's dive on in as ever let's take a quick look at the rules jay and i will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection any rare cards cards that feature a star score points scoring is very simple we head on over to the current price list on tcg player and determine your rare card or cards value that value is rounded up to the nearest whole number but the fun doesn't stop there each week we will also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage if the energy in your pack matches the type advantage then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier and you get an additional point for each mon of that type in in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. Now it is time for the Wheel of Energy. Oh man, I don't even know what the good type is this uh, this season, Ben. So we're just gonna we're just gonna spin and hope for the best. Sky's the limit. It could be anything. It could be anything. But we all know it's going to be teardrop. Oh, you oh, oh, you almost got oh, it is instead metal energy again. I again? think in back to back episodes yeah. that is wild, which means I don't think we need to change the boards. Little Evie gets to stay in the center. My absolute favorite, well, we don't have to change the boards. Uh, that's pretty good. What my other absolute favorite is though, Ben, is that because we're sold out, we can now officially do the team competition. We've been talking about it for a while, and basically how it's going to work is you will score for your team, whatever you signed up for, Charmander, Bulbasaur, Pikachu, whatever team you're on. Squirtle. That's Squirtle, awesome. that's yeah. the last one, yeah, who cares? <laughs> it's not gonna be Squirtle. It's kinda hating on Squirtle. The way, we're using Chrome Cross country rules to score. So if you are amongst the top five scorers in your team, your points will contribute to the total team score. And whichever team ends up on top at the end, their team will all win these team champion pins for the end of the season. They look amazing. They say Carlin Brothers Box Breakers season champion. It's pretty exciting. Season five champion. Season five it's champion. specific to the yes. set. And in the future, all of the pins will be specific to the set. I think yeah. they're going to be super cool. Just a little extra incentive for those folks folks involved in a new game mechanic for us. A fun new little game mechanic as well. Uh, speaking of which, we should introduce our final game mechanic, which is our randomly chosen common chase cards for the day. They are going to be Wug Trio, Tropius, and Floette. Floette. Okay, yeah. amazing. Well, I am excited. I think we should just, I think we need to crack the box. All right, you do the cracking, man. I'm also going to inform our viewers of one new uncommon card we have uh, in the fray. This is the first time, I think, since we've been doing the show, that one of the uncommon cards actually has a value over a dollar. It is the a, nest ball. Yes, it comes in at worth a dollar forty. So it's not a randomly chosen common chase card. It is just a, a, a like. It is an always on chase card. It is an always on chase card. So because of this anomaly, we have decided that for this season, we are making the nest ball, any nest ball in any pack worth two points. So it's just a fun little extra game mechanic we're throwing at you this season. But I think Ben has prepared the box. It is in fun mode. Let's get our contestants ready to go. The first one for season five is going to be Sydney. 
All right, but this is Sydney's third season. She's a hairstylist wow. from Texas. She's been collecting Pokemon cards since she was six or seven. A veteran. A veteran, as it were. So there is a little different thing this time. So um, instead of counting the four off the back, it's the back card. This will be the energy. So we can go ahead, boom. Boom. There we go. And now we don't have to do the count. It's just the bottom card is now the rare one. This is a really cool set because there are three guaranteed shiny cards in every... Uh, in every pack. So yes. at minimum two reverse hollow and all of the hollows are hollow rare So it will always look like a silver edge is sticking out. I'm not sure if you can see that right there But let's go ahead and start cracking see what we got. Let's chunk Normal type slow poke watch a one trio there right go. away. There's the judge. There's the floats of the fortress That's not gonna score the Zangoose not gonna score and Skeledurge bam so right out of the gate we have a two-point pack I have to think Yep, I think so. Yep, coming out of there for Sydney. Two points to start the season. As a reminder, this is not a single pack season like it was for Crown Xena. This would be back to the full three pack season. So there we go. We're off to the races. All right, Ben, your first contestant of the season is Jeff. Jeff! Jeff. Oh, hey, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff uh, joined us last season for his rookie debut. Got oh, two points. Well, okay, okay. A little. So looking to improve on that. I, I know, yeah, imagine. yeah. Once again, Olive Guard gift card still in effect for our rookies this season. Man, so. if this is your first episode, you're like, there's so many things happening. There's so many mechanics. But if you've been here since season one, you're like, I love it. I'm so invested. I get all the, all these things make perfect sense to me. All of the things. There we go. Okay, so, and then, of course, there is our teardrop energy. Boom, so no type advantage yet. The Fuecoco, the yeah. Drowsy, the Nemonona. Nemona. Nemona. Yeah. Lechonk. Lechonk. Toxtricity. The Muck. Croctolor. Tandem Mouse. I know, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, Ben has never seen these Pokemon before. I know, this there is, we go. Yeah. Uh, okay, so oh, that. Oh, Floet Scores. Floet Scores and. The Cyclozar. There we go. Ben, so another like two another point two pack. Another two point pack. So Jeff off to a similar start to last season, but plenty of room to grow this time. I can't believe how much better I was getting at it at the end of last season with all the names. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> the Paldea region. There's some of these Pokemon that I haven't finished the game yet, so I keep seeing some and I'm like, I don't know what this Pokemon is yet. So uh, I think I'll be right there with you on some of them. Um, next up we have Gildruin! Gildruin! Gildruin. Uh, similar, had his rookie debut last season, scored three points, so probably looking for um, a little bit more than that. They are presently training for a 50k Mountain Trail Ultra Marathon. That's very impressive. Very impressive. I am I am coming Boom. up on my first ever marathon myself here in a few weeks. So. All right. I yeah. applaud you. Ben just did his 20 mile run over the weekend, and uh, he, he's, he was mostly dead yesterday. Mostly, yeah. yeah. All right, we got Squawkabilly, Capsicid, Alola Mola, Mousehold, Crocolor, Florgis, Growlithe, Rare Candy, and Annihilate, which is a Pokemon whose name I love. This is the evolved form of Primeape. Annihilate. Annihilate. It is pretty cool. It, yeah, that's that's amazing. But I'll, I think it's just a single point I pack. Think so it's a single point pack let's, there for Gildruin. Here, let's go ahead and check real fast so that we can keep keep. Uh, so that is a nine cent card. The Annihilate. The Annihilate. Because right. I feel like there's a possibility that this particular person, if you want to write it down in the notes, uh, could be in contention for that last place award. Oh yeah, you're right. With a single point, we may as well go ahead and knock that down. Zero. Nine. Bam. All right. All right, Ben, your next contestant is going to be Jack. Jack! Jack! So I got Jeff and Jack so far. Yep. Let's see what we can do here. I'm still getting used to like the new the new like card pull method. I know we're so it's used like, to the count four. I know, yeah, and the, the, I feel like our, our turnover with the uh, with the energies is it, we need to figure something out. So yep. Mastiff, Meditite, Energy Search, Grimer, Heracross, Crocodile. Flamigo. 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 Yeah. There you go. I think I almost had it right. Maybe it's just not that good. Uh, Medicham, the Rotom, and, and the, the Halucha. The flying entry. This actually, I don't know, that might be worth checking. Okay. I kind of, I, I would doubt it, but it is a, um, a pretty competitive card. When you play, you can place a couple of damage counters on the board, which is always nice. Well, more competitive than our last rare card, but not by a lot. It's okay. going to come in at a whopping 13 cents. I'll still write it down because if we have to total stuff later on, there we go. 13 cents, another single point pack, but the Halucha is quite playable, so. There we go. Well done. Now, one of the other kind of interesting things about this particular series is that the pull rates are a lot better than what we've seen before. So what that does overall to card values is kind of brings them down, but I think that the most expensive card in the set is worth about 75 points or $75. Right. If you're speaking in currency terms. Um, but I think that there's a much greater chance to pull more rare cards 
Uh, so I think what we're gonna have is a very competitive season when it comes down to it. Speaking of which, Ben, already it's time for the Big Steve pack. No way. Oh man. No way. Now, bit, now I've decided we pulled four four packs so far. The pull rates in the set are pretty high, uh, and we haven't pulled anything yet. So I got a good feeling for Big Steve here, who I know personally has already pulled the seventy five point card. So I don't think he needs another one. I don't but think he needs another you one. You never I know. Watch, watch us do it. The other thing, though, I think the game plan is to actually pull all three of Big Steves today, so oh, that we it? know. Yes. Oh, you're yes, right. Okay. Yes. So that we know what his uh, what his total will be. Okay, so I can do a reveal. Whoa! Eyeball energy. Eyeball energy. And then okay. We'll flip it over. Okay. All right. Let's see if Big Steve can get on the board here. We got Zangoose, the Crow Gunk, the Dedenne, the Switch, Team Star Grunt, Lucario, Rock, Chest Blake, Clawitzer. The Amarouge does score because it is a rare card, and then boom, the Arboliva. So that's just going to be a two-point pack for Big Steve. Okay. Yep, there you go. Right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. I'm going to grab one from the ETB for Big Steve's second pack. Let's okay. go. Let's go three from the back there. How's three that sound? Back. All right, all right. This is I, the the idea here is that we'll know throughout the entire season exactly where Big Steve stands. Right. So we'll be able to like judge where people need to be in the standings if they want to win this particular um, award. Which if you beat Big Steve, if you were the Ooh. first person in front of him, metal energy. So Big Steve hits the metal energy. That's crazy. Uh, then you get an ETB at the end of the season. Tarantula. There we go. There we go. Rylu. Riolu. Riolu. Yeah. Magneton. Clawitzer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Staraptor. Yep. Okay. Electric generator. Wug Trio scores. Wug Trio. Yes. There we go. Uh, the Bi Sharp will not score. I think possibly something back there. The Sandile will not score. Oh, oh the Uncoloni X. Oh my gosh. And it's the full art version. So that's exciting. It's our first big pull. And of course, it's the big scene. That's out of the ETB box. So it's not even out of the main booster one. All right. So let's, let's see, see how it adds up. So the. Oh, give me that again. So it's not Oink Cologne. It's Oink Cologne. Oink Cologne. I, I personally feel like it should be pronounced Oink Cologne, like baloney, but uh, I think it's just Oink Cologne. I love that. I yeah. love that. Maybe we'll call it Oink Cologne. Right. Okay, I like that. Linkaloni um, uh, is going to come in at two dollars ninety-five cents. So with the metal energy multiplier, you have three, four times two is eight. Eight. Bam. Okay, so Big Steve racking it up. All right, there we you, go. We'll put a little here, sleeve on the oink alone there. Here, I'll do that for you while... Oh, okay, you draw. You're right, you're right, you're right. I was just trying to help. On top of it there. Okay. All right, now we're going to pull one final for Big Steve here so that we know what his uh, standings are for the... We'll just go from the middle of the pack there you here. Go. go from the middle of the pack. The pack here, all right. It all comes down to this. So, so Big far, Steve currently sitting at 10 points at on the 10 season. That's right. This will be interesting. Uh, because people will still have many packs to try and aim for. I know, it yes. Is. Yep, absolutely. All right, so let's see. Energy, boom. It would have been crazy if we got the metal That would have been, again. that would have been. The Dolive, the Quaxley, Crushing Hammer, Picnic Baxter, Bombardier, Hypno, Flaffy, the Mareep to go with the Flaffy, and the Mariadon. So there you go. I think that's just a single point pack. I think so, yeah. Coming in number 80 on the set. I can double check just to be certainly certain. Yeah, that's nine cents. On Bam. that one there, so uh, that means 11 points is uh, is where Big Steve sits, which now means you want to score 12 points yes, you in order to qualify for that Big Steve award. So we'll be looking out all season now for 12 point players, especially uh, coming into the third uh, round of packs here. But we'll go ahead and put those away for Big Steve. Bam! Next up is Anita. 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 Finished last season with six points. Let's see. So we still haven't actually had a full art card from here, from the main box yet. Yes, and I, if if our past boxes are any indication, there should be a lot yeah. of interesting stuff left to come out of this box here. I think so. So we have the lightning bolt energy. So small of small of a little olive, Prime small olive, palmy, Taran tarantula. Yeah, tarantula. You got it. Nailed it. Hypno, beach court, sandaconda. Satoddle. Satoddle doesn't score. The Fuecoco doesn't score. And the Professor's the research. research. Oh, just a single point, I'm afraid, there for Anita. Although we should look up the value on that research, make sure since let's, we have a single pointer. Since we have a single pointer, let's take a look, see here. Going to number 189 on the set. It's going to be worth a whopping 25 cents. So not what you want to see if you're going for that last place award. But of course, you got three packs this time, so. Should be a little bit different. Next up, we have Marcos. Marcos. Bam. All right. Still looking for our first big pull. Um, besides the Oink alone, oh Ben's put Ben's slotting in one of the. Right, I'm gonna slot in. A, I'm gonna slot in a couple of the ETB packs here. Just, just a complete the, random, so we don't. Yeah. 
Um, there we go. Bam, Fireball Energy. Oh boy, I almost went for the count. We got Palmo, Toad School, Rotom, Chansey. We haven't pulled a single metal card. I know, yet. I was realizing that too, yeah, it's wild. Yeah. Dash Bun, Capsicid, Squavit, which I love that Pokemon, boom, and Armor Rouge. So just the one point Armor Rouge. It seems like, I can't believe the number of one pointers we've had so far. Let's see I know, what the yeah. Armor Rouge let's, is let's worth. Let's double check that. I think nine number. cents is currently, what's the beat for last place? I know, 41 cents is gonna come in at a whopping eight cents oh, overall. A so, new last place, sir. A new last place, congratulations On there. The Armor Rouge, there you go. You should, you should definitely take a picture of that and frame it. Frame which, it for sure. By the by, uh, I believe that we, we requested somebody do this. Oh yeah, we uh, did. In a past which, episode, yeah. we were like, hey, frame it. You know, exciting, exciting exciting bad pull for you. And, and believe it or not, one big V, Vincent Rinaldi, boom, did just that. They framed their beautiful uh, crocodile uh, right there. I'm, I'm so proud of them, I'm so proud of them. I well need, done. I need slash want more people to do exactly this thing. If you get your if you get your pull and you're especially proud of it and you wanna frame it and send us a picture of you holding that frame, we'll cherish That'd it. That'd be great, Yes, I love that. All right, Ben, next up, first contender for Rookie of the Day, it's John Arbuckle. John Arbuckle! Bam, let's see. Can John, now, I feel like John is a really good opportunity to jump out for this, because we, have, we haven't had the pull yet. We're, and like, we're gonna. Like, the pull rates in this pack are pretty good. I can't believe we haven't had uh, something a little bit larger yet. I know, yeah, so so far we got the Bruxish. Yes. Brux, Bruxish? Yeah, Bruxish. Okay, there we go. Cacnea, Sandile, Mareep, Fortress. Fortress, yep. Fortress? Yeah, Fortress. Uh, Rocky Helmet. Mabostiff? Yeah, Mabostiff. Mabostiff. Uh, Smoliv? Smoliv. Which doesn't score. N uh, Nimona? Nimona does not score. Doesn't score. And, and Dundozo, Dundozo, which I think probably does not score Let's as well. Let's double here, number 61, so we can keep track again, because it's a one point pack. It's going to be worth 11 cents. 11, wow. Too um, powerful, I'm afraid, is yeah. the Dondozo. Bam, so that's gonna be, uh, but John Harbuckle is presently leading the Rookie of the Day with his 1.11 cent pack. There you go. Next up is Peabody Coco. Let's see, let's go off the front, off we, the we front. We need something to happen I here. I know, I'm oh. like, I feel like I've been talking this setup. I've been so excited for the new season. So far, only Big Steve has pulled the Oinkalone. The Oinkalone. Yeah, all right, here we go. <laughs> Bam, the Rockus Pummeling Energy. Shout out to everyone doing the step competition right now on Team Rockus Pummeling. We have the Curly, the Fui Coca, the Tropius. Oh, the Tropius scores. Whoops. Oh, hey, nice. There we go, the Satitan. Uh, Flappy, Blissey, Rock, Chestplate, Pokemon Catcher, and oh, oh and there, there we go, go. An Arcanine EX. So, you remember the V Pokemon of the Sword and Shield era. They have now all been, uh, the updated game mechanic is the EX. So, uh, here we go, this is the Arcanine EX. So it is, it is like our, our, other than the Big Steve, it is our first like full art of the day. Uh, it does come in in a whopping $1.49. Oh man, so it's going to be a three point pack? Three point pack overall. Wow, 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 wow. So I think part of that is because there is another Arcanine that is like a shinier. We actually pulled one ourselves yesterday. Yeah, not to brag. Not to brag or anything, but uh, I think that's probably driving the value of the more common one down even further than it otherwise. Uh, Needs to be. There we go. But there you go. Either way, Peabody Coco, you have an Arcanine EX. It has that awesome terastalize um, artwork on it. There you go. Next up, boom, boom, there we go. We have, oh, oh. it's John Munyon, AKA Mooney Man, AKA Reginald Munyon. <laughs> Reginald Munyon. Reginald <laughs> Munyon, indeed. All right, currently serving in the US Navy. Loves going on drive-in movies with his family. Yeah, I, I love it, I love it. All right, Reginald, let's see what we can't do here. Let's We're doing it. it. Big money, Reginald. Boom. Bam. So we'll do that. We got our eyeball energy. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Team Eyeball Energy. If you're doing the step competition, the true winners. We're currently in fourth place. We could use some help. Uh, we got the Ralts. We got the Growlithe. We got the Shuppet. We got the Tandem Mouse. We got the Patrisu. Patrisu. Yes. Nailed the it. The Picnic Basket. Uh, the Bombardier. 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 Yeah. It's birdier than a Bombardier. Uh, a Shroomish, and, oh wait, hang on, oh I'm sorry, I thought that was already one. The Shroomish, the Clauncher, yep. and Armor Rouge again. again. Oh wow. man, so wow, was wow, Armor Rouge wow. the eight point, the eight cents? Let's double check, because uh, now we're now we're gonna I'm really be splitting sure. hairs. It is the eight cents. Okay, so that's a tie for last place now. 
uh, for original Mooney Man. We really, we're going to have to edit this differently to showcase some better pulls sooner. But the good news is, is that they must be in here. They must be in here somewhere. Next up we have Karen, uh, who had her rookie debut last season, scored eight points. Very solid. Very solid. Has Would absolutely have put you in a commanding lead over uh, John Arbuckle's one point. There's no doubt. So, uh, the, but so far, no other rookies have uh, come to bat. So, we're just going to have to wait on that. Bam, Karen, another eyeball energy. Wow, speaking to Ben's heart right now, it's, not, it's almost as good as Rock is pummeling, but Fido, Dedene, Pineco, Tatsugiri, Scovillain, Torko, Goga. Oh! oh, there we oh, go. Oh man, actually, this is this one's gonna be pretty good. This is the Illustrator Rare Arvin. So we've had full art trainers in the past, and there is a full art Arvin out there, but this is the Illustrator Rare Arvin. This is the first set that's doing illustrators for the trainers. Let's see. Oh! oh! So this is a great example. This is a full art trainer card. This is an illustrator rare trainer card, and you pulled two. What uh, the Karen. Heck? Okay, we so know what's coming. That's an awesome back, and Arvin is a very playable card. Okay, so let's see here. So uh, Katie at two thirty-seven is going to be worth four dollars fifteen cents, which will round up to five. five. And Arvin is going to be worth twelve dollars and thirty-four cents. Uh, which will round up to 13, so 18 points overall. 18 points overall, and kabam, uh, Karen takes an immediate, uh, like top of the leaderboard. Top of the leaderboard lead there. I'll go ahead and sleeve this one up for you. That Arvin is awesome. That is very cool. That's a very beautiful card. card. Very good card. Oh my gosh, we knew we knew something had I to be knew, coming. Right? I there mean, it was. We, stole, we built it all up for that one big pack. One big pack. All right, next up is Hagrid, the the Hagrid, who finished last season with 17 points. That was their rookie debut. I believe it's Hallgrid. Is it Hallgrid. You were right. It is Hallgrid, not Hallgrid. Hagrid. I know. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Boy, but they get that all the habit. Though. Yeah. yeah. It's all good. All right. Let's see here. So yes. we're gonna do. We'll do. I, I kind of like your method there. So we'll set that guy aside. We'll go blame me. Oh, oh okay. we have the two times energy. Let's All see if right. we can get two back to back packs here with some big money in it. All right. R Riolu, yep. Magneton, Clawritzer. Yeah, Clawritzer. Uh, Grievard. Yeah. Staraptor. Yeah. Katie. Yeah, hey, look, we just saw yep. Bug Trio scores. Bug Trio scores, yep. Crydon scores. Does score, yep. And the Waltz, Waltz will not, not score. And the NDD does. So that's going to be a total of three times two is six point pack. There we go. There Which we go. Honestly, that. I think is good enough for second place at the moment. May, possibly. Well, other than Big Steve, who had it on that second one, but that's kind of hard to. He, Big, Big Steve will sit on the top of the leaderboard just for a little bit because. Well, not, not even. I think he was already oh. been dethroned. Oh, already been dethroned. I don't know what just happened there. Did you get electrocuted? There may be something happened. I got a weird pinch. I don't know. Sorry about that. If I get electrocuted, I'll let you know. Or I'll probably just pass out. Ooh. That'd be bad, too. All right, bad. next up is Jeremy. All right, Jeremy finished last season with 14 points after finishing the season before that with 13. So maybe looking for like a 15 or you think. Uh, maybe, maybe. They're continuing on that very linear uh, trend here. Right, yeah, so I would expect Bam. at least a five point pack. Hey, oh, there we go. We Metal go. energy maybe right off the top. Now. I know, yeah. All right, we got Rotom, we got the Palpat, Flabebe, Toxel, Youngster, Jack, Florigato, Flamigo. Oh, oh, that's going to be a pretty good one. That's going to be the. Uh, Illustrator Rare Ralts and the Rever Room, which is a metal type, the first time we've pulled it all day. So we got that weird math that's yeah, gonna happen I think here. That the, I think that the Ralts is pretty solid. Let okay, let's see here. it. Let me take a peek here. What number is it again? I'm sorry, 211 on the set. $10.69, we'll round up to 11. 11 plus one, two. So 12, 13. Yeah, 13 times two. 26. 26. Oh my gosh. And just like that. Just like that. Karen was like, I got to sit on top of the leaderboard for a hot second. For a couple of packs there. And then again comes Big Ralt. So the cool thing about that Ralt's card is that yes. there's also a Curlia and a Gardevoir in the set that all tell a little story as this little girl grows up with the Ralt's. Yes. Yeah, so it's really cool. So by the end of it, it's like she is like with her family. Yeah. Uh, and it's like a, a fully grown Gardevoir at that point in time, which I just think is so cool the way there's like this like continuity between the, between the cards. Between the cards themselves. Yeah. yeah. Very fun. So well done to Jeremy sitting atop the leaderboard with 26 points. We were like 13, 14, maybe we'll go for 15. Maybe like, went boom. right for, no, went straight for 26. Yep. So there you go. Next up is Ben C. But ben not C, you. But not me. Yeah. Am I up you. or you up? I think you are up. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah. Ben C for Ben C. All right, Ben C is new to TCG. Just started playing uh, with his son Dominic and taking him to events on the weekends. That is awesome! I can't wait to start doing that with my kids. Boom! Eyeball energy. energy. We are like kindred spirits right now. You mm. can just tell. Silicobra. Yep. Oh, nice. Bisharp. Riolu. Go goat. Yep. Nice. 
Miriam. Miriam. Spirit Tomb. Ultra Ball. The Hound Door. Yep. Okay, that's not gonna score anything. Oh, oh, the Great Dusky X, and that looks like an Illustrator Rare if I ever if I had to guess. That is beautiful. Some kind of alt art, boom, and, and the, the King, King Gambit, Gambit. bam. Okay. All right, let's look up that Great Tusky X. That is a beautiful card. I'll sleeve it while you yes, look it up there. It. Okay, wow, there we go. Okay, the Great Tusk is gonna come in at fifteen dollars twenty six cents, so sixteen points, seventeen, seventeen with the King right Gambit. There. Man, that is an awesome pull. See, we were we were just like holding the flood back, and now all of a sudden it is raining points up in here. Raining points. I'm hoping that people didn't uh, click away in the meantime while we were getting ourselves there. I know, right? All right, next up we have Vincent. Is this Vincent? Wait, this is Vincent. Is this this Vincent? Is it Vincent? I, I don't actually know. Uh, it says on their picture, it says Big V, aka Vincent Rinaldi. So we showed the picture of a Vincent earlier, but I'm not sure if this is the same Vincent. Okay, okay. Um, based on their points, uh, they got that crocodile framed. Uh, they had six points last time, so I don't. That doesn't seem like a six point bat. Okay, okay. Well, then episode three was. I don't know. It doesn't matter. All right, next, let's see. How are we going to do here? We have the Lightning Energy, the Flittle, the Fuicoco, the Drowsy, the Nimona, Breloom, Kilowattril. Yeah. Flood Baby, EXP Share, and ooh, the oh, Magnazone EX. That is awesome. What that a cool card. So cool. Oh my gosh, okay. Number 65 on the set is the going lamb. to be worth 76 cents. So oh. still just a single point. What? Even this though, is just a single point? I believe so, yep. Let me just double check for safety. So number 65, the Magnazone EX is worth 76 cents. That is kind of a bummer because it's such a cool card. It is a cool card. But you know what? It's it's still like whenever you get something like big and shiny anyway, I mean, that's like yeah. that's where it's at. You know what I have just realized, Ben, that maybe we should have brought up? Those one point cards actually are definitely in the race for last place because without the V Pokemon, there are no longer the V Star markers in the packs. Oh! So we don't have a negative point value in this season. That's true. So That's we're true. no longer looking for goose eggs. You want, if you're looking for last place, you want that single point. Okay, okay. All right, good to uh, have noticed, I suppose. Next up is Lauren B. Lauren B. Lauren B. From the Bachelorette, right? So I think, uh, yeah, probably. Pro probably. That Lauren. Lauren B. has been with us in season two, Man. as we are now in season five. A real so veteran of the game. Truly, truly. So you expect big things. You sure Great do. things. Great. Terrible. But great. Yeah, definitely terrible things from uh, Lauren B. here. Pomo, Driftloon, and uh, the Clefki. Actually, let's double check the Clefki because this is a pretty competitive card. We'll do it. It uh, occurs to me it could have cracked over. Yeah, so as far as a single point card is concerned, it is worth 59 cents. Okay, so. Um, so it's going to take you out of the running for last place, uh, and we'll also not do any favors on the scoreboard in the meantime. So, yeah, so that's, you know, actually, as, that's, that's an unfortunate pack. It's a veteran mistake, as, <laughs> as they like to say. <laughs> as they say, you know. Uh, but you know what? Klefki is one of my favorite Pokemon, so there is that. There is that. There you get some, that. some honorary J points. Oh man, man, we have another contender for Rookie of the Day. It's Blood Vamp. Blood they, Vamp. I don't want to say they sound intimidating, but... Um, I think I'm, I'm up. Oh, you're up. There you yeah, go. Take, I mean, you don't have to take that one if you don't want to. No, I think I want to. Okay, I think I want right. to. Now it feels kind of special. Okay. Now you already thought it. Now Blood Vamp has three black cats, so they feel like they've got a, a, a sort of a, sort of a vibe they're going for. They definitely have a vibe. Yeah. Definitely have a vibe. I'm feeling a dark teardrop energy maybe out of this pack? Yeah, almost certainly. Yeah. All right, let's see here. So we'll set that guy aside. We'll do the blam. Oh, okay. Fire, oh, fire. Well, you know, okay. You can't well, be right all the time. You really can't, especially not when random mods are in, are in play. Yeah. All right, so we got the Drift Loon. Uh, Sprigatito. Sprigatito. It's a new starter Pokemon. Oh, it's honestly very adorable. I'm not yeah. going to lie. Uh, Flittle, Saviper, Flaffy, Youngster, Blissey, Grimer, Starly, Oh, and, and Houndstone. Oh, Houndstone, that's just <laughs> I did it. that thing oh, where no. I was like, and I'm at the end. Okay. <laughs> and I'm at the end. Let's double okay. check the Houndstone here. Yeah, we'll see if it's Can it beat Armor Rouge as the, the least valuable card? It can. It can! You know, oh my com goodness! Coming in a whopping seven cents. Man, all right, that's our new least valuable player. Not least valuable player, least valuable card. Right, Which right. makes you a winner. Which makes you a winner. Now. Congratulations! You got seven yeah, cents now, on now. the board and take, and actually, I don't think that was enough to, <laughs> to get them the Rookie of the Day. It now. wasn't, it <laughs> oh my came gosh. in. Okay, oh my gosh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> that is so, I'm so glad you brought that up because yes, they came in. Currently, John Arbuckle still holding that Rookie of the Day spot with one point. 
coming and off of uh, 11 cents total rare card value. So, wow. woo! All right, well, John Arbuckle hanging on by a thread, it has to be said. It has to be said. Oh, no. Uh, okay, E.K. Sko. Right, you got guys. it. You I got, got it. it. I, even as I said, I was like, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> I don't feel like EK, Why do I always get your pack, E.K. Sko? I don't know. Uh, hopefully, let's see, last season, no. They finished 26 points in season three, which was our last three pack season, and they're coming in strong with the wow, metal energy, wow. boy. Here we go, we have the quick, oh, that was the rare card. That Plus. was the rare card, so okay. That's the quick cobble, doesn't mean we can't pull anything else though. Magnemite, Tarantula, Pokemon Catcher, the Clauncher, the Tatsugir, the Nest Ball! Hey that scores, the Pachirisu, the Annihilate scores, and the Electric Generator. So that's actually a really good card, but um, not gonna score you any points. We still, I don't think, have a single metal type Pokemon. We pulled that's the one Reverum. Okay, okay, you're right. Yeah, you're right, you're right. earlier. Okay. Um, um, so let's say we have one, two, three, four times two is eight points. That is it. That is a very impressive eight points. That is an impressive eight points because this is otherwise a unimpressive looking uh, pack. But that's our first Nest Ball of the it day. Is, it is our first Nest Ball. So this is the one. It must just be a highly playable card. But yeah, as it an is. uncommon, this is the first time. So it's that little diamond marker. But it is worth a dollar forty, which rounds it up to two points. Yeah. Uh, and I'm glad that we checked because otherwise, I'm sure that uh, we, people would have been sad that they were missing out on those available extra points. I know, right? Congratulations to EK Sco. Bam. Next up, we have Cartavian. Cartavian. A crowd favorite, a for crowd sure. Favorite. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. They're, uh, they've been around since season two, maybe even later. I don't know how far back these go. Um, I think maybe we just started our cards at season two at this point, but they're from Kentucky and live in Colorado. All right, let's see here. And we got the dark tear drop energy. Drop. There we go. The mass shift. Yep. There we go. The Pawniard. Yep. Wiglet. Toad School. Judge. Floatzel. Team Star Grunt. Rocky Helmet. Defiance Band. And, and Coridon. So Coridon. it's a single point pack. I don't know if that's going to get it. It feels like being the legendary mascot puts you at more than uh, seven cents. Only but just barely coming in at nine cents. Oh man, not even a dime on the Coridon. It seems like an insult, but. It does, yeah, to the Coridon. But there you go. Anyway, in contention for last place at the moment, Cartavian. So best of luck to you and with, we, we, with poor pulls. We've really had like like sink or swim today, haven't we? Yeah, like there hasn't been very many mid players. Right, yeah. Yeah. Either you go big or you go home. Or just continue to stay yeah, you're here. you're probably no, already at home. Yeah, yeah, there it is. All right, next up we have Collard Cow 41, who makes pizza. Do you think Collard Cow 41 is at all related to or knows CK Hoof Talk? Probably. Yeah. Probably. I think they're probably best buds. Eyeball energy for Collard Cow. I almost did the thing again. You almost did. Citadel, Magikar, Magnum, Mike, Jacques, Florigato, Zangoose, the Toad School. Oh, oh! Look at that King Gambit, like, Oh, that is awesome. That is so cool I looking. I super love the artwork and the cloth. Okay, so let's check out number 220 on the set. Boy, the artwork is amazing, if nothing else, for King Gambit there, which is the uh, evolution of Bisharp. So not not bad at all. So coming in at uh, $5.09 for the King Gambit. Okay, so that'll so round up to six, six seven. Seven for the cloth. There we go. Man, seven points out of the gate. That is awesome, actually, based on how this is going. That puts you in a good spot to score big later. There you go. That's how I'm seeing that. Oh wait, got the card over here. Whoop. Bam, bam, bam. All right, next up we have Justin H, who uh, is coming off their rookie season. They scored right. four points last time. They've been collecting for 20 years, and uh, this is uh, an old fun pack. But they, they, we know they have it in them because they've pulled the. Uh, the Pikachu VMAX worth $50, which is, I think, that rainbow one. There we go. All right, so we got our teardrop energy there. We got the Scatterbug, the Shuppet, the Sprigatito. 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 Yeah. I'll get better at it. Houndor. Uh, Esbar. <laughs> es yeah. What were you saying? Espathra? Espathra, I guess Espathra. So. It seems like something that was, um, yeah, anyway. Um, Arvin. Yep. So that's that card we pulled earlier. The Cacturn. Toad's Cool. Doesn't score. The Pawniard doesn't score. Oh, oh, the Full Armor Rhydon! That is awesome! I love the pink on this one. It's I know. so cool. Super pretty. Number 227, it I believe. 227. On the set. Let's go ahead and sleeve that for you. There Man, we go. What an amazing okay. looking card. 1350. Wow, so it's going to be a 14 point pack. 14 point pack. Boy, and I'll tell you what, Maridon, very competitive. Super cool card. Very uh, explosive starts. Re that's that's a really good one. Nicely that, done. That is to awesome. To Justin H. And once again, it's the, it's really that sink or swim. It's just like yeah, it's like, there. It isn't right. We haven't had like 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 mid card uh, pulls at all. It's just like into the teens or like one. Right. Man. Next up, we have Ellie. Ellie. Ba bam. Here we go. 
Uh, her birthday is on St. Patrick's Day. Hey! There you go. That's that cool. was recently. That was. Happy late birthday. Happy belated. Belated birthday. Boom. All right. Let's see. Can Ellie get the metal energy? Oh, no, she cannot. Bam. Drop. All right. Oh, there's a Baroom. That scores. That's a metal Pokemon. Wow. Nice. I haven't had many of those today. Stonjourner, the Penny, the Medicham, the Miriam. Now, the, the best card, the most points, is the Illustrator Rare Miriam. So if we pull that, you're looking good. That's 75 points. Right. This is not it. Uh, the Dolive, boom, and the Miascarada, which is the mm. final form of Sprigatito. I really feel like they were just starting to throw syllables at some of these. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> just, it's just sound it out. It's Miascarada. Uh, Miascarada. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So there you go. This is gonna be a two-point pack for Ellie. Next up, we've got Vicky. 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 Come I mean, on. This is her third season of play. I think it's your turn to Ooh, open. Thanks. 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 Here we go. All right, Vicky. Yeah, so third season, it must have come in at the end of season three. Right, that so was only had only had two packs so far. So this will be the first time they've put up more than one pack in a season. Right, right. So yeah. now we're about to find out what they can really do. Fireball energy yeah. there to start you off. We got the Starly, the Flittle, the Shroomish, the Mankey, the Beach Court. I'm doing great. You are. Sandaconda, Katie, the Blissey, the Chansey. To go with it. And the... You got it? Six. Cyclazar. Cyclazar. I was close. Very close. Cyclazar. Cyclazar. So that's a one point pack, and let's double check the Cyclazar to see if it's less than eight. Could it be? It can't be. Let's see here. It is going to be seven cents. Seven cents. So you're tied for last place. Congratulations. Man, all right, Vicky. Well done. Well done. Getting right in there. Tie for last. You love to see it. Cyclozar. I'm surprised that's not um, a little higher because Cyclozar is kind of like the the midway point between Crydon and Maraidon. You there. mean a little higher than seven cents? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe like thirteen cents. Like thirteen cents. <laughs> if you think you could have done better, um, Brian O. This is going to be another rookie contender. Can they get more than eleven cents? Is what we're looking for for that Olive Garden gift want, card. Here. I, I want you to pull from. You one want of the, one of the ETBs. I want one of the ETBs. Give it a pull. There we go. Here we go. Here we go, Brian. Rookie season. Yes, from the ETB. I know, yep. So their birthday is April 13th, so signed up to get a pack for his birthday. Oh, this is his, this is the birthday pack. Let's All see. Right. Let's see if you win Man. an Olive Garden gift card. Yeah, energy. I love it, I love it. All right, that helps, you'd think. Can't see Rare Candy, the Fido, the Quack Quaxwell, EXP Share, Toad Scroll, Curlia, Seviper, and the Annihilate. Oh. So, wait, is the Annihilate worth more, or is it holding on? Oh my gosh. I Let's think this one was worth... Not but I think it was nine cents. Let's see, one hundred nine cents. Oh my gosh! Oh no my way. gosh! One single point with point zero nine. So you're wow. tying with Blood Vamp and losing to John Arbuckle. Dude, John Arbuckle is having himself a roller coaster just, of emotions. I imagine just pacing the living room right now. Just I know. like, what is I, going on? And he's like, am I going to Olive Garden or not? I don't know. I don't know. I, it just, I'm like, it, you know what? If he gets it though, it's actually going to be insanely impressive. I, it will like, be. It know? will be the most impressive, worst rookie of the day showing we've ever had. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it's gonna be. Because if you remember, Brooke had her rookie of the day like Alt Art Lugia pull yeah, two like, sets ago. Yeah, 229 points all at yeah, once. Yeah, on, on one pull there. That's why you gotta sign up for the whole season though, because you know, those extra points, they, they add up. There you go. All right, here we go. Uh, this is Hannah. Hannah. Oh, Hannah. Boom, plays Legends of Arceus with her three-year-old daughter. That's awesome. Bam. I have so much eyeball, So man. much eyeball. Eyeball and teardrop, the big ones. Yeah, the Rotom, the Pow Pow, the Flabebe, the Drift, the oh, Ball scores, the Pachirisu, the Palmo, the Toad School, and oh, oh the, the Gyarados Ge EX. Gyarados? Yeah, you're right, I said it wrong. It's Gyarados. Okay, I was sure. like, I was like, I grew up with this one. Yeah, okay. yeah, you know how to say that. Hey, it's Gyarados. Yeah, oh, thanks. Thank you, Ben. I got you. I got All you. Right. <laughs> All right, what is the I point got to value, help. Benjamin? Okay, let's take a look here. Number 45 is going to be worth $1.83 for that Gyarados, which will round up to two points for that guy. So just as good as the best ball. <laughs> which is also two points, so four points total for Hannah and the Gyarados EX coming your way. We'll put the Gyarados in a sleeve though, there. If yeah. You know, well, the Nest Ball will stay stay loose, but yeah. No, there is a gold Nest Ball you can pull as well. I think that this, one so. is quite worthwhile. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. one. That one's pretty awesome. If I had, if I, you know, uh, I wish I had about four of them and uh, this little playset. Oh, yeah. All right, Ben, or should I say Arbuckle? Buckle up because we got another rookie of the day in here. Okay, what's her name? All right, this is uh, Joe Catherine. All right, all right, Joe Catherine. Oh, I'm sorry. 
It is like Catherine without the R, so it's just Joe Catherine. Joe Catherine. Okay. There you go. All right, Ben, you got it. Do you have eleven? Do you have twelve cents in there? Gosh. I don't know. I don't know either. I would have thought that we would have blasted past it by now, but at this go. point, I'm kind of holding out hope for John. I know. Arbuckle. I'm kind of like. I feel like he's got like a, people are chanting. They're like, buckle, buckle. They are. Oh my gosh! And once Another again, eyeball, eyeball energy. energy. Man, can you imagine Sandow, if that had been Haldum, the one? Fido. Which, by the way, you explained this particular character to me, and I am in love. Yeah, it um, is a fantastic Pokemon. It's just a bread dog. A bread dog. Let and, me read you the flavor text on it. It yeah. says, "This Pokemon is smooth and moist to the touch. Yeast in Fido's breath induces fermentation." in the Pokemon's vicinity. So, he's just making sourdough and stuff out there. Every which way. We got the Scatterbug, uh, the Lucario, the Rock Chestplate. Sititan. Sititan. Yep. Okay, sure, why not? Uh, the Florgis does not do anything for us, unfortunately. And the Prime... Ben? <laughs> oh, I thought that was it. And the Primeape, but... Uh, uh, but... Uh, oh! X. Oh man, you gotta think that's worth more than 12 cents. You gotta imagine. Okay, number All right, 143 let's see. on the set. Oh my Joe gosh. Cathan. You know John Arbuckle right now is just he absolutely... Is like on his knees like, no! It, it truly and honestly cents. barely worth more oh at 60 cents. All right, 60 cents for an EX, but either way, at least you get the EX. Do you have a sleeve over there for that? I do, yes. That would be fantastic. There we go. All right, All right our new leader with a single point still <laughs> is Iron Treads EX. Man, rolling out. It could be impressive. anyone's game still. It is, you know, there's still plenty of room for a rookie to take. How day. is it that the Olive Garden gift card has become the thing? Dude. Like, it's really what I feel like everything is all about today. People love the people love the garden. You know, we just had some over the weekend. We did get it for we our did. mom's birthday. <laughs> we, did. we got the lasagna. We got the salad. We got, we got some, the cheesecake. Some chicken dinner for the kids. I swear, the, the free advertising they're getting from this show. I know it's ridiculous. It's what? ridiculous. We, I want. I want to know. Has anybody gone because of the show? Please Please let us know. I want. I also really want to know that because um, it'd be really funny. It would be really funny. Rock is pummeling, pummeling energy. Here we go. That's what you like to see. Rock is pummeling. In case you're wondering, is winning the step competition. No one brag or anything. But uh, so Tootle, Varum scores. Magikarp, Driftblim, Mesagoza, Defiance Man, Flittle, another Varum. What? Wow, that's cool. And the Slow Bro. So. Double Varun. They're actually different cards. They have different attacks, so it's different art too. That's cool. That is really uh, cool. But still, just going to be a three-point pack. Man, I I cannot. I just want to double check that slow bro. Uh, worth eleven cents. Yeah. Wow. It is a. I love that. That's a really good art. It is really good art. Yeah. That it, is awesome. Like, the slow bro looks good, and then it almost looks like crayon art or something for the background. That's yes, very fun. That's so cool. Love it. That's great. Yeah. Good stuff. So they always do really good jobs on slow, but there's like certain Pokemon. The longer you've been into the TCG, you can tell they like really focus on like. Oh, there's always a good Slowbro. There's always a good Oranguru. There's always a good Mistrevis. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, it's, it's weird which ones they choose, but like they always show up over and over. It must be the artists themselves have some favorites, and it's like we can't not use this design. It's too good. Yeah. All right. Next up is Matthias. Matthias. All right, Matthias. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's crack this pack. Bam. Boom. Boom over there. Let's oh, see. The oh, the rock is pummeling. You'll have to see it. We got the energy retrieval. The chunk. The, chunk. the slow poke. Watt troll. Mabostiff. Mm -hmm. Miriam. Spirit tomb. Le Double the chunk. You'll have to again. see it. Yeah, I know. Uh, like, um, uh, what was the other one I had in the beginning there? Was there another one of these guys? Maybe not. Oh, yeah. yeah. Chunk. Yeah. Does, oh. does this evolve into that? Yes. Okay, okay, look at that. Look at the big happy little smile. Like that little puppy. And, oh! oh! The full art Miriam! Okay, so not the illustrator art one, but I bet you that one still fetches you some good points. All right, let's take a look here. That's Man, I did not. It, it didn't even feel like something was peeking out there. That's amazing. So Whoa! Number, number 238 on the set. Let's see it. $29.81. That's enough for first place, I do believe. That 30 is points. 30 points from one Miriam. That is crazy. Of oh course, the other Miriam is worth more than double that. I know. What a beautiful card, though. That. That's really cool. Yep. Congratulations. Goodness gracious. Bam. That could be the pull of the day right that there. That might be. Man, the Miriam, that's fantastic. All right, next up, we have got Bubsy. Bubsy! Bubsy, you put up 25 last season. Uh, I want to say they were they were in contention. I want do we, I feel like at one point or another. At some point, yeah. Twenty five was pretty strong because it was only the one pack season last month for yeah. the uh, um, Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith, that's yeah. the one. Let's see, bam! Oh, Fireball Energy. Here we go. The Zangoose, which I personally think is going to be a sort of an underrated card. Oh. Uh, okay. The Krogonk, the Dedenne, the Switch, the Ultra Ball, the Espathra. 
Arvin, Magneton, Palpad, and uh, the Palmot. Oh. So, Palmot, I don't think it's going to get you very many points. Let's double check the value. Let's see, number 76 on the set is worth 15 cents. So, hey. honestly, for like for like a standard rare, especially with all those 9 and 7 centers we've seen this, I know. this episode, I, I was, mean, wow. Palmot's not seeing a ton of play, but it was a pre-release promo, and uh, it was like sort of running the pre-release format. For, That's pretty cool. Yeah, like it had a, it had like a, a little moment in the sun there. If you got the palm on, that was good. Next up we got Big Jake. Big Jake! Big Jake is a photographer and does AV work for his church. Hey, that's fun. All right, Big Jake, let's see what we got for you today. Can we get a big pull for Big Jake? All right, with the with the energy card. Ooh. No, dark tear drop. Oh, oh, dark tear. Well, yeah, it's, it always looks always, like something shiny right, is coming out in the this set. The Watchtower, the Crocorock, the Mankey, the Squawkabilly. You got it. Nailed it. Jacques, uh, Florgato, Florgato. Florgato. Zangoose. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Team Stargrunt. The Mareep. And the Mascarada. Mascarada. Right. So one we know that's just a single point, but we should look it up so in case we need to keep track. I know, just in case. Let's see, number 15. It's worth 15 cents. 15 cents again, man. Okay. We're on a roll. We're on a roll. Okay, we're just getting stuff done. That's there all. You, go. you know what? You got a fully evolved starter Pokemon. So that's, you know, it's kind of nice. <laughs> you got <laughs> the stage <laughs> one in there as well. I'm not reaching for a reason why this is good. You know? Not all the packs are exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have something to say. All right, but this one is, this is Kevin, who is a game developer, so you know they must just appreciate the game design over here to the max, but Kevin is up for Rookie of the Day. So what are they trying to beat, Ben? 60 cents? I mean, really, yeah, I mean, just more than one point. More than a means single point, not yeah, you get two points, you are like high and away at this point, uh, crushing that competition. Here we go. Kevin, can you do it? Kevin. Can your uh, game developer Kevin. mind Kevin. bring you to the Kevin. top? Does it give you an edge while you're uh, playing Box Breakers? Let's find out. Bam, Rock is pummeling. That's a good start. You know, you love to see it. Quaxley! Quaxley! Squabbit. Char Cadet. Le Jonk. Quaxwell. The XP share. Toad Scroll. The Watchroll, the Pokeball, and oh, the Palmot. Oh wow, no, which we know so is worth just 15 cents. Oh no. Once again. You know all these rookies are getting their packs like, oh my god, I'm still in it. I can still definitely get it. And then they keep not. So, um, jo Joe, Joe Cathan. Jo Joe Cathan uh, just barely beaten out <laughs> John Arbuckle over there. So we have five rookies on the day, all of whom have one point. Yeah, guys. This like Olive Garden gift card looks like it's trying to crawl off the table. <laughs> it's it's like, like, I don't even want to be spent. Come on, no, I don't even want no. To be <laughs> All right, next up we have Aerofell, who is a veteran player of the game. Let's see if Aerofell can show these rookies how it's done. There you go. You know what? We're looking for some big points. Aerofell has did have a good season three. They finished with 56 points. All right, let's see here. So let's let's see. see. With the, oh, not kind of lightning bolt energy. We've got the Growlithe right mm -hmm. off the top. The Flababy. Yep. Really? Flababy. Flababy. Uh, Staravia. Yep. Oh, nice. Ralts. Florges. Yeah, Florges like gorgeous. Florges like gorgeous. Uh, Greedent. Vivillon. Yeah, Vivillon. Vivillon. Wiglet. <laughs> Wiglet. Okay. Uh, Shuppet. Does not score. And, oh. Skeledurge. Skeledurge. Kind of cool looking Pokemon. It is. That's the fire, the fully evolved fire starter. All right, what's the Skeledurge worth, Ben, so I can mark it from a single pointer here? I know. Hang on. Arafel, you did not follow through on this, um, the veteran play. I know. I know. Let's see, we're trying to show the, the newbies nine cents. Nine cents! Those skeleters. Yeah, we're trying to show these newbies what's up, and you know, this, this is not what we expected. You it's know? not what we said. We're it's not okay. mad, we're no, just. I'm not. I'm not kind of mad, honestly. <laughs> now that I think about it. All right, next up is Matt Cox. Matt Cox. All right, let's see. I went for. Ooh, we're right from the back and almost broke the box. What's the name of the show? Hey, hey! That's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to break the boxes. Kabam. All right, well, maybe that's a good omen then. Let's see it. What have you got, Matt? Boom. We got. Oh, here we go. Matt all knows right, what's up. All Matt right, knows all what's right. up. We'll go, go, go okay. with that one. Yeah, all right. There's the Star Early, the, star, the Tarantula, the Watchroll, the Crocolock, the Cyclozar, Toxtricity, another Cyclozar, the Sandile, and oh, the, oh, the Professor's Research. research. All right. Oh, well, man. you know, it's going to be a two point pack there. Um, it is indeed. You know, so, really not capitalizing on that energy. On that metal, yeah. Big chance to get a big number there, and instead, no. There we go. Didn't make it for Matt Cox, but did make it a little exciting with the type advantage there. Next up, we have Chase. Chase. Chase, uh, who is. Uh, Doe, the other another player here, son. 
Yes, I, I like that it's a family affair. It's yes. always very exciting. Now, Chase has been playing pretty hard recently, but he hasn't had that big breakthrough he's looking for, so got, maybe this is the pack. Got the eyeball energy, which again, yeah. if you're doing our step competition over on Discord, uh, is my team, yeah. so, you know, that's that's something. We got Curlia, Fue Coco. Yep. Tropius, Tropius scores. scores. That's yeah, I think I know, maybe our first one. I know, we haven't seen a lot of Tropius. Uh, Pokeball, Cacturn, Mezzagosa, Drift Driftblim, the Professor oh, Research does score. does score, yep. Uh, the Palmy does not score, and the Annihilate does score. So it's a three-point pack. Three-point pack. Still, still we waiting go. for Chase to kind of have that like that real breakthrough. Honestly, three points though isn't as bad as it sounds because so many people have had that single-point pack this uh, time around. It's so it's so true. All right, next up we have Austin Johnson. Here we go. I'm going from your side, Ben. Wow. Yeah. Okay, Austin. So if this one's good, just know that I could have opened it. For yeah, you. but I picked it. So, so. Well, you know what's more important. So, Bow, and dark teardrop. Wow. Here we go. Smoliv, Wiglet, Grievert, Spupa, Oncoloni, as I like to call it, Berloom, Kilowattril, the Ultra Ball. Oh, oh, look at that. The, what is this, like a alt art drowsy or trainer gallery drowsy? That is so, awesome. Yeah, and oh, oh, double Oinkaloni. Oinkaloni. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Go out the drowsy and the Oinkaloni. That's very cool. Uh, the Oink alone, it's like such a funny Pokemon because it is like actually very tanky as a card, so there are decks around it that are pretty viable. Uh, let's see what that Drowsy is worth, though. I think that's where your points are going to be. Yeah, let's, I'll double check the 158, which is the Oink alone -y. Uh, let's see here, it's gonna be worth two dollars. Hey, all right, there you go. Yep, so no rounding there. Oh, only one cent away from a third point. That's no. unfortunate. Yeah, that is. So let's see, number 210 on the set is gonna be the Drowsy, which comes in at four dollars, 14 cents. All right, so there you go. Drowsy. So seven point pack. Yeah. All right, not well, bad. well not done. Bad. That's what you like to see. All right, we can get some sleeves like yeah, over here. Sleeves. But bam. There's one for you. I mean, you got two Oink alone, so that's just, you know. I mean, gosh. Yeah. Take that right to the bank, if you right. will. Yeah, take it over there. Be like, I'd like to deposit this in my checking account, please. And they'll be like, yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> we accept Pokemon card currency here. Next up is, oh, Ben, Blue Malamute. Yes! I got it! You nailed it! Maybe, maybe oh, you should man. say the people's names and I should say the Pokemon. I know, I know, maybe yeah, that's, oh, the, that's you're the, up. Okay. Am I up? Right. You're up. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Blue Malamute, let's do it. Blue Malamute, a... Another seasoned veteran of the game. I wish it wasn't true, but when I get chastised for things, I do tend to I do tend to remember it. Yeah. And I was chastised for mispronouncing. We got oh, the metal energy right man. there. Type advantage in play. Let's see some big numbers. Tandem mouse, poke gear, flow it. Yeah. Oh, that one scores. Oh hey, there we go. There we go. The palmy. We've seen a bunch of those. Doxbun. Yeah, I guess so. I think so. Dash bun. Do like, or like Doxen. Doxen. Oh, you're yeah, right. Doxbun. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Torkoal. Yep. Okay. Uh, Scoville, Scovillain. Scovillain. No. I know. It's not a good name. <laughs> it's not a good name. No. I'm Capsicate sorry. is such a good name, too, Look, where it evolves from. Uh, uh, so another Torkoal, which will yeah. not score. The Houndoom, Houndoom which will not score. score. And, and the, the Klefki, which does not score. Well, it scores. But so that's going to be two times the time advantage. So four, four on the points. pack. You do get a couple of honorary J points there because he does like old Klefki. I do like Klefki, man. My Klefki in my game, which I have like fully EV trained and all that stuff, I named it third down. Because it's a key play. Oh, that's a Virginia Tech that's reference. That's a Virginia Tech reference. Yeah, nice. Right. Oh my gosh, like the one person gets it. I know. Someone Someone was like, that was clever. That was clever. Uh, all right, Ben! Ben, Ben. The, the race, everyone's really got their eye on this episode. It's Rookie of the Day. Next up we have Jeff. This is their rookie uh, season. Jeff is looking for more than 60 cents. 60 cents. I would like to say it doesn't seem that difficult, but um, the data would prove me wrong. So, let's see, Ben. Is it me? Am I pulling for Jeff, or are you pulling for Jeff? You know what? Oh, man! Ben wants to pull on the ET, but we got the bonus packs here. We're right out of the center. All right, Jeff. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Can we get above the 60 cent mark, or will Joe Cathan... Do, do me a favor and look. Is, do we have any other rookies on the day? I think there's only two more. Uh, I think there's so only two So this is the last rookie of the day. day. It all comes down to this. So it does all come Joe down Cathan. to this. Joe Cathan. Rockus Pummeling. You like to see it. Okay, okay. Tandem Mouse. And a mouse. Small, Small of. Primate. Palmy. Beach Court. Sandaconda. Katie. Haircross does not score. The Pokeball does not score. Uh, the Coridon. I don't think that's enough. Oh my God. Oh no. What? Wow. So Joe Cather, I think, is going to take it with their 60 cent pack. Yep. The the Coridon is worth nine cents. Wow. Nine cents for the Coridon. So that's not going to cut it. 
Um, sorry, you, you hate to see it, but the rookies have all come in with a single point today. That is wild. That is so I mean, wild. What, what are, are the odds? odds? I do not know. Well, we have two packs left. Next up is 0 4 12. He's been putting up consistent consistent numbers. We've got a 5, a 6, a 10, a 10. So, okay, never someone right. playing for the bottom, but let's see. This feels like someone who's maybe playing for that Big Steve Award a lot of the time. Let's take a peek. We've got the Teardrop Energy mm -hmm. there. We've got the Rotom, the Pal Pad, the Flobebe, yep. the Toxel, the Defiance Band, the Tatsuguri. Yeah, Nest Ball scores. Nest Ball does score too. There we go. Uh, Staravia will not score, um, but does it evolve into this? No, no, it does not. Okay, I mean, it looks like it could have. Um, Bombardier. Yep. Bombardier. Yeah. I, I'm just, I'm, I don't know how I feel about that one. All right. Uh, and uh, Arboliva? Arboliva! Okay. The olive tree! The olive tree from Small Live. Yeah! Uh, so 23 cents on that one. Or not 23 cents. Number 23 on the set, rather, is worth 8 cents. Man, uh, but with the but Nest Balls, Ball bring up point the three pack. points anyway. Wow, that Nest Ball is coming in clutch for it folk. Is. It's like our new, uh, it's like our new V-Star marker. It does, uh, yeah, but in reverse. So this in is reverse. a more positive set. Yeah, you know? exactly. All right, Ben. Last card for, or last pack for season, or for episode one of season five is going to Andy. Andy. All right. Owner of uh, popular toys such as Woody, uh, Buzz Lightyear, Ham, yeah, Slinky, Mr. Potato Head, Rex, Bullseye, yeah. Jesse, Wheezy. We know, we know Toy Story characters. Yeah. We've seen the movies. Eyeball oh man, energy. the eyeball energy. So many eyeball energies. There's the Caps a Kid, the Char Cadet. Potion, Weasel, Star Raptor, Electric Generator, another Star Raptor? That's sort of a weird one. That I'll is a that. weird one. You got the awesome slow, bro. That does score. The Sviper does not. And hey, the Spinops! Spinops! Hey, there we go. Okay. Spinops EX. Very cool, very cool. Number 19. So two on scoring the cards. Okay, so the Spinops does only come in at 70 cents. Oh, so bummer. I, see, so I think some of these be... EX cards might be like the new Bolt V. There's no doubt. Although it remains to be seen whether or not Spinops will prove itself useful as a card moving forward. It has like an effect that historically has been good, but we'll see if it pans out. Okay. Yep. Well, there we go, guys. That is a, that is a nice... Uh, finishing pack for episode one, season five. I'm very excited to see what the point totals for the teams will look like. Yes. Uh, after we go through and tally everything up for those. Uh, congratulations to Joe Cathan for their 60 point pack. Who would have thought? 60 that cent pack. 60 man. cent pack. 60 point pack would have been amazing. It would have been amazing and fun and exciting. And instead it was one point. Hey, you know what? It was a tight race. It, it was interesting. I will give it that out of, yeah, six rookies, all of whom scored a grand total of six cumulative points. Um, it, it, you, you just can't expect it. But either which way, we had a winner. We had a rookie of the day. Thank you to all of our patrons for your participation in the event. I am so excited for what else uh, this season has in store for us because I do feel like we've pulled some cool things ourselves, which makes me feel like there's nothing but cool packs left to be opened. Yeah, it's going to be very fun. It's going to be very fun. And also, just because the game is already full, it doesn't mean people can't have drops. So if you want to join in, it's still worth checking out the Patreon to see if you can sneak in there on one of those slots. Absolutely, yeah. So keep your yeah. eyes open. Over on the Patreon, it's patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. You're looking out for those um, box breakers tiers. There are quite a few of them, so you might want to like, you know, just glance around here and there, refresh the page, make sure nobody's dropped yet. Um, and otherwise, until next time, bye! bye.